Okay, so what you're going to need are writing utensil. You ready? Yep. Yeah. For anyone's attention that I don't have yet. Okay. Sure. No problem. Okay. Writing utensils, so pen, pencil, color pencils, paper, which will be, you can use a whiteboard or you can ask for graph paper, you can just use your own notebook paper, so that's sort of for scratch paper. Uh, poster paper, which is going to be the folder, or if you want to do your presentation on, on the computer, you can do that. Ready? Okay. Ready. Uh, markers or colored pencils. Uh, all mine dried out, so <laughs> we'll figure something else out for that. Greens, which I was trying to look for. I love the show The Walking Dead, and I love zombie stuff. I have for the longest time, and I was looking for some some zombie eating greens, but I couldn't find some kind of thing. All right, on the presentation, you will want to write the standards. On the copy that I'm going to give you, it has the standards. Okay, you don't have to write them word for word. You can summarize them. Um, and uh, you can partner on this. This picture was taken in Park City. This pole was like this big around, and this cat was perched on it. It was pretty cool. I'm like, wow, look at the way it's supporting the cat. So here's your question Farmer Peabody has a total of 36 cows and chickens, there are a total of 102 legs. Devise a plan to find out how many cows and how many chickens the farmer has. <laughs> I don't expect you to memorize this just now. You'll get another copy of this. Ready? All right? I guess Farmer Peabody could have been a male or a female. I just assumed it was a, a, a male. So in here, I keep, I keep relating Farmer Peabody as a, as a male. What? Okay. All right. And some questions that have been asked before when I've done this lesson is, well, what if a chicken got killed by a cow during, you know, is not that going to make less cows or less chickens? Okay, no. During the project, no animals were born, so there weren't any extra chickens or cows um, harmed or died in the making of this. All right. You're going to be done by scientific method, so you can start. You're going to get your name on this, both of your names if you're partnering up or your name, if you're doing it on your own. And then somewhere, somehow, be creative, you'll have a question. And the question is, how many cows and how many chickens are on the farm, or does Miss Farmer Peabody have, or whatever. The hypothesis, you're going to guess and write. I think there are going to be 50 chickens and three cows. Then, you're going to gather your facts, from, from the information I give you and that you've seen here, and start doing your experiment. You know, you might do tallies, you might figure out the, kind of a, a mathematical way to do this, and you're starting to see this as sort of a discovery lesson. And then you'll plan your steps. These are sort of combined together. You can check your work with others. Like, what did you get and what did you get? And you can walk around the room. And then um, you report all steps and results on the poster paper. So. When you analyze your data, that'll be on here too. Okay? All right, and these are just ideas to get started. So on the rough draft, on the whiteboards, or on the on paper, you can do tap. Oh, 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 yeah, then you got this one, which is really Everybody else is going to go from there. Does that help? And you go to school and see some people. Cows Yep. Well, we don't know that. So yeah. And then what would the other equation be? System teams, two or more. Equations. And would be the chicken one. So you got the chicken and the cows with the legs. Now what would be the simple one? What other information would be here? Where you're not dealing with the legs, you're just dealing with the actual chicken and the cows. Cows are four legs. Back there, like the system of equations, substitution method and elimination method. No, that. Oh, remember those? Yeah, 
So there, so there has to be more cows. No, could be, but not necessarily. It's okay. Um, what have you got so far? Okay, so you have one of the questions. Say that again. Actually, what does the two mean in the four mean? Why do you two mean two in the four? Legs. Legs. So how many legs are there? 36? Okay. So change that to one. Well, we had one or two, but we can change it to 36. But I hear what you're thinking. I, I, I mean, I'm okay. picking up a three right now, okay? Uh, so, remember, what, give me a definition of a system of equations. It's really simple. Alright, so we got to start from the beginning. Right. right, so you have one equation there. A system of equations is going to involve... Two or three? Yeah, and then this is just write this down. Okay. So, what's the other question going to be? Um, I would suggest looking at the question. It's going to be something plus something equals 36. So, x plus y equals 36. That's it? Still have about 8 minutes to at least get the chicken. Oh, yes, do we? We're done. Nice. <laughs> Let me see. There's 21 chickens and fifty. Or one leg. Yeah, we need to try it home. Well, actually, before you. What was I was the one who 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 was the Oh, are you guys on it? Yeah. Okay. You guys want to get all the tabs? Kind of okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just say, I'm going to the tabs. Okay. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. On your posters or as he's doing that on the computer. Do you have your attention? Because I'm only going to say it once. Okay, your, your question is the question that I gave you. Just have that on the poster. Your hypothesis is literally the first thing your brain thought of when you saw the question. Oh, I know there are going to be more cows and chickens. Or I know there are going to be like 18 cows and however many chickens. That's your hypothesis, simple. Your data is actually what you did. You tallied or drew chicken feet and cow hooves or you know, actually figured out equations. You can cut and paste that. The analyzing and put it in analyzing the data and the results is one sentence. We got 15 cows and 21 chickens. Simple. Then your conclusion is going to be three to five sentences. Here's the part. I would suggest writing down the hardest part of, of this. So it's sort of a reflection. The hardest part, which seemed to be getting these equations and then remembering how to do system of equations, the easiest part, and then maybe just something else about the experiment, maybe if, if you even like doing the, this project, that sort of thing, okay? All right, and then the homework, again, you have that. Is there anyone that does not have the homework strip? I know you two have, that aren't paying attention. Okay, and then here's the other thing. Thank you so much, it's just something, uh, uh, to, to close, I usually would do an exit ticket by asking you all a question, um, but you have a lot to do here. So, um, it's a power clap and it goes like this. I'm going to say one, two, three, and I'll do just one clap. Ready? One, two, three. Thanks. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>